Thank you for your interest in our public hearing for the State Road 406 Safety Improvement Project. The Florida Department of Transportation is conducting this public hearing concerning proposed median modifications and roadway improvements on State Road 406 from 560 feet west of Singleton Avenue to 580 feet east of Singleton Avenue in the city of Titusville. This hearing is being held to allow persons the opportunity to express their views related to the proposed median modifications and roadway improvements. The public hearing will be held on Wednesday, December 10, 2014, from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, 2073 Garden Street in Titusville. There will be a brief presentation beginning at 6.30 p.m. Attendees will have an opportunity to make a public statement about the project after the presentation. They may also speak to members of the project team before and after the presentation to discuss the project and ask questions. This hearing presentation will include introductions of the project team and any attending elected and appointed officials, compliance with the legal requirements for public hearings, an overview of the project, a description of the proposed improvements, and the project schedule. Following the presentation, the public will be invited to provide their testimonies regarding the project. This hearing will be recorded by a court reporter. The public hearing transcript will become part of the project's official record. The Florida Department of Transportation complies with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI and or Title VIII may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot dot fl dot us or you may contact Jacqueline Paramore, the state Title VI coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or by email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. Pursuant to Florida Statute 355199, the Florida Department of Transportation is conducting this public hearing concerning the access management changes to State Road 406 Garden Street from 560 feet west of Singleton Avenue to 580 feet east of Singleton Avenue. This public hearing is being held to allow the general public an opportunity to express their views relative to the proposed access management changes. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information about the State Road 406 Garden Street Safety Improvement Project, to present the proposed changes to the existing access management plan along State Road 406, and to receive public input on the changes. The project limits for this project begin 560 feet west of Singleton Avenue, and end 580 feet east of Singleton Avenue along State Road 406 Garden Street in Titusville. The construction project will include closing the two full median openings on either side of the intersection, 
extending the eastbound and westbound left turn lanes from State Road 406 Garden Street onto Singleton Avenue, reconstructing the curb ramps at all four corners of the intersection, rebuilding the traffic signal with mast arms at the intersection, milling and resurfacing the roadway at the intersection and 80 feet beyond the intersection in all four directions, and restriping the crosswalk, stop bars, and first directional arrows. The project is not anticipated to require additional right-of-way. Access management is the planning and control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections to a roadway. Access management designates where and how vehicles enter and exit a roadway, helps protect public investment in roadways, and improves public safety by preserving mobility, reducing delays, and minimizing crashes. By following access management principles, we can limit the number of conflict points on a roadway, separate the conflict points, reduce or remove the number of vehicles that turn or cross the lanes of traffic, remove excessive vehicle stacking from the lanes of traffic, improve safety, and improve roadway capacity. Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location that has the potential for a crash. The goal of this project is to limit the number of conflict points by closing median openings. This will restrict vehicles from turning across the lanes of traffic at these locations, which will eliminate conflict points. This will increase safety along the roadway and reduce traffic delays. This project proposes to close the two full median openings on either side of the intersection of State Road 406 Garden Street and Singleton Avenue. The location of median openings and the type of opening are based on roadway classifications and minimum separation or spacing standards. The standards used by the Florida Department of Transportation provide the optimal balance between access and mobility. U-turns are often much safer than direct left turns, especially on high volume, high speed, or congested roadways. They have also been shown to reduce the potential for accidents. Research on the safety of U-turns indicates that crashes causing injuries or fatalities are reduced by 27%, and total crash rates are reduced by 18% through encouraging right turns followed by U-turns compared to direct left turns. Without access management, businesses can be hurt by congested high-collision roadways near their entrance. In Central and South Florida, studies have shown that the majority of corridor business operators saw an increase or no change in their customer traffic. This chart shows the required distances for Access Management Class 5. The spacing requirements along State Road 406 Garden Street east and west of Singleton Avenue are currently not being met. State Road 406 Garden Street is a four-lane divided urban roadway. Singleton Avenue is a two-lane urban section and has a raised separator at the intersection with State Road 406 Garden Street. An arterial study for State Road 406 Garden Street from east of Clarewood Boulevard to west of Williams Avenue in Titusville was completed in May 2012. The purpose of the study was to identify ways to improve public safety and traffic flow and reduce crashes and motorist delays. Angle, head-on, and left-turn collisions occur throughout the corridor. Access management modifications would alleviate some of these crashes. Collisions that could be corrected by the modification of the existing median were the focus of the arterial study. Based on the results of the analysis, field observations, and engineering judgment, traffic signal and median opening modifications should be made to comply with Access Management Class 5 spacing standards, and to improve safety along the corridor. The project will extend the eastbound and westbound left turn lanes from State Road 406 Garden Street onto Singleton Avenue, 
the two full median openings on either side of the intersection will be closed. Curb ramps will be reconstructed in all four quadrants. The traffic signal at the intersection will be rebuilt with mast arms. The roadway will require widening, milling, and resurfacing at the intersection and 80 feet from the intersection for all four approaches. Crosswalks, stop bars, and first directional arrows will be restriped. The project is not anticipated to require additional right-of-way. You can download a copy of the Florida Department of Transportation's Access Management brochure for more information. Go to the website at www.dot.state.fl.us and type Access Management brochure in the search box at the upper right-hand corner of the home page. For information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select State Road 406 and then click in the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design and then select the project number for this project, which is 432412. Dash one. Construction is anticipated to begin on this project by late 2015 or early 2016. During construction, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be necessary. Localized pedestrian detours will be provided during sidewalk construction activities. This project is also being coordinated with Space Coast Area Transit, or SCAT, to ensure that bus service is not disrupted. We encourage you to attend the public hearing on Wednesday, December 10, 2014, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, 2073 Garden Street, Titusville, Florida, 32796. A presentation will begin at 6.30 p.m. Project staff will be available to discuss the project and answer your questions before and after the presentation. You will have an opportunity to provide your verbal comments during the public testimony period. You can fill out a comment form at the hearing and drop it in the comments box, or take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. You may also make a formal statement to the court reporter before or after the public hearing presentation. If you are not able to attend a public hearing, you may still submit your comments. You can go online at www.cflroads.com and use the Submit Comments and Questions link on the project webpage. You may also email your comments to eileen.lasseur at qcausa.com. All comments that are received by December 29, 2014 will become part of the official public record. You may also contact Hansi Samara, the FDOT Consultant Project Manager, or Eileen Lasseur, the Consultant Public Involvement Coordinator, by mail, telephone, or email. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important project.